Launch Complex 576, is a group of rocket launch pads at Vandenberg Air Force Base. The pads were used from 1959 until 1971 to launch SM-65 Atlas missiles. The site was also known as Complex Abre. Pads in Area 576 include 576A1, 2, 3. 576B1, 2, 3, 576C, 576D, 576E, OSTF-1 and OSTF-2, the first operational launch of an Atlas missile by the Strategic Air Command was conducted from 576A2 by the 576th Strategic Missile Squadron on September 9, 1959. It impacted 4,480 nautical miles 8,300 kilometers away, near Wake Island. The first Atlas F launch at Vandenberg took place from 576E on August 1, 1962. Orbital Sciences Corporation now launches their Taurus rockets from 576E. 576E is also a candidate site for launches of kinetic energy interceptor boosters. The USAF and Missile Defense Agency anticipate a minimum of 3K launches per year from 2009 to at least 2012. Topic 576A The first pad in the complex, 576A2, hosted the inaugural Atlas launch from the west coast when Missile 12D flew a successful 1,100-mile arc across the Pacific Ocean on September 9, 1959. The site was not used again until 1965 when it was converted for the Atlas F and hosted 13 Abre and OV-1 launches. The second pad in the complex, 576A3, began operation in 1960. It hosted re-entry vehicle and Nike Zeus target tests on the Atlas D and F through 1974. Pad 576A1 was severely damaged when Atlas 19D exploded on it during a fuel loading exercise on March 5, 1960. It did not enter regular use as a launching facility until 1962 when it hosted Atlas D re-entry vehicle and Nike Zeus target tests. In 1967, the pad was converted for the Atlas F and hosted more re-entry vehicle tests until being decommissioned in 1974. One space launch took place from 576A1, the launch of RADSAT in 1972. Topic 576B 576B's three pads were coffin sites for Atlas ICBM tests. The facility was the source of some trouble in the beginning due to a construction error as one umbilical on the silos was installed incorrectly. After four failed launches from 576B, it was discovered that the umbilical was releasing prematurely at liftoff when it still had live electrical current in it, which shorted out components in the missiles. Repairs were made during early 1961 and launches resumed that May. 576B1 began operation in 1960 and hosted five missile tests until 1965, when it hosted Nike Zeus and re-entry vehicle tests. The pad was decommissioned in 1966. 576B2 hosted Atlas DICBM tests from 1960 to 1963, then it supported Nike Zeus and re-entry vehicle tests. The pad was decommissioned in 1967. 576 B3 hosted Atlas DICBM tests from 1960 to 1963, then it supported re-entry vehicle and OV-1 satellite launches. The pad was decommissioned in 1967. Topic 576 C. 
Pad 576C was only used for three Atlas E tests in 1963. Topic 576D. Pad 576D was only used for two Atlas F tests in 1963–64. Topic 576E. Pad 576E was used for four Atlas F tests in 1962–64. In the 1990s, the facility was revived for Minotaur C and Pegasus launches. <laughs>